And obviously then to my beautiful bride, to, to Amy. Thank you for today. Thank you for, for making today possible for saying yes. Obviously, um, most of you know that the sort of general story of, of, of Amy and I, uh, one person in the room was here at the beginning. Uh, Nick, Nick McRae was there when, when she, she said yes. She swiped right on Tinder. <laughs> And he was there, he was there from, from the outset and he, and, uh, he saw how excited I was to, you know, to, to, to go, on, go on a date with Amy and my, you know, the lead up to it and that sort of thing. And I, I was at his house beforehand getting dressed and had a few beers to calm the nerves and went in there a little bit more slosh than I should have, which isn't surprising to some. Um, but I was trying to, trying to play it cool and he, was, and he, and he saw me the next morning and, and I think he, he would testify to the fact that I was pretty sure then that I'd found somebody pretty special and it wasn't long after that that I knew that, you know, Amy, Amy was the one for me. Charles and Amy wish to declare their commitment to one another in the presence of those whom they love and whose friendship they enjoy. In this ceremony, they dedicate themselves to the happiness and well-being of each other and to the further development of their relationship based on mutual love and respect. I promise to give myself to you unreservedly, to be there through the good times and the bad. I promise to honour and cherish you, to be there as your shoulder to cry on when you are low and to revel with you in your accomplishments. I promise to push you to be the best version of yourself and to not become complacent myself. I promise to always listen to you and respect your opinion, even if I know that I'm right. <laughs> and I promise to give you the benefit of the doubt when you tell me that you've told me something, even if I know you haven't. <laughs> Most of all, I promise to love you unconditionally until my dying breath, and to ensure that you know it every day for the rest of our lives. When Charlie said he was dating an English lass, it was like, of course you are, why wouldn't you? And I remember Amy coming around and the first thing Amy did, well not maybe the first thing, but soon after, was cook a roast. And you roasted the potatoes in duck fat, something we never did, but, and it was delicious based on what your father did. So uh, all these things started to come together. So Amy, thank you. Thank you so much for making Charlie so happy. It's just been absolutely glorious to see and um, you fit in so easily also with the broad church that is our family. I mean, I know we're possibly very foreign at times to what you had experienced, but it's just been as if you've been there forever. So it's wonderful and I thank you for that. Thank you for the, for the, for the journey. Thank you for uh, being my partner through all this. Thank you for saying yes to me. I'm so happy and, and so honoured to be here, standing here as, as your now husband and uh, just so excited and so thankful for what lies ahead of us and, and the future that we have together and starting our, our family together and what lies ahead. So ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to raise a glass to my beautiful bride, to Amy.